Hi, I'm Cindy. I'm Annie. And we're Bling Bling Dumpling. So when me and Cindy met, we both have this fond of food. And we're both from Taiwan, and we both really reminisced about food in Taiwan and the street food. I remember five years old, was my, my dad family, and then we just, they make a huge batch of dumpling fillings, and they, we start wrapping. And I think we're just doing that, and I figured out my own way to wrap dumplings. My way's better, though. So we went back to Taiwan for 10 days. We eat throughout the day. It's like five we, we ate, like, every, we just ate through Taiwan. When we came back, we couldn't just walk down the street to get anything that's fresh and, like, to go. And so we started just making dumplings dumpling and having party. dumpling parties. Yeah. And making dumplings is kind of like a family thing. It's really hard to make dumplings for yourself because you make so many. A lot of labor goes into it. And then somebody suggested, why don't you sell them? I was like, oh, maybe, I don't know. First, I was like, no, no, no. And I told her, I was like, what do you think? And I was like, no, 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 no. I was no, like, let's no, just no, do no. it. Let's just and I do said, it. No, 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 no. We are not I was ready. like, it's too late. We work four times on so Monday to Friday, and Saturday we go buy produce. Sunday we make lunch boxes. Monday she bring over to work. First few weeks we got like extra order during the week. We work until like two, three o'clock in the morning, wrapping dumplings, <laughs> cooking dumplings, packing the lunch box. You know, every time we make a batch, we have to taste it, see if the just the flavor consistent. We both don't want to eat it. We we'll play paper scissors. Oh, I, I can't. I can't. Who's, who's the loser? Who's gonna try that batch? As we slowly got our name, we slowly got our license. It's not really gonna go anywhere unless we fully put our selves into it. Yeah. And I was like, let's do it, or else yeah. we'll never know. I cried for three days to quit my job. <laughs> I did it. And then we start getting so many events. Yeah. People just We're just like us. going, like, let's push it, let's push it. So last year for Kuchao, we for two weekends, we sold 40,000 bucks. We learned, like, just what's good, what our our crowd is, who buys our dumplings. Um, not Asian crowds. Not the Asian crowd. Because, <laughs> you know, the main thing was our dumplings is we did focus more on organic meats. They don't even think about that. Yeah. It's not in their realm, I guess. Oh, we fight all the time. We fight all oh, the yeah. time. We, we fight disagree. a lot. We disagree to agree, and then we come to, like... We learn a lot. We learn a lot. How to talk to each other. Now we're definitely at a point where we need our own kitchen or our own storefront or something. Right. Yeah, because people keep asking every time we do events, people are like, what's your restaurant? It tastes so good. I was like, um, we're, we're getting into it. She has much bigger dreams and she wants to be like famous. Yes, I want to be like, famous. I was I'm like, you do that. I want to be, be like chef. I want to be famous. I want to be famous. I want to be famous. <laughs> I still wanted to be all handcrafted. Right. Even if we had a, um, a kitchen, a bigger kitchen, like I still want people, like hire people to, to help make us wrap this yeah. dumplings. Because that's our main thing with what we do, is to have good food and good ingredients. Right. Like I want people to know that we make good food and that when they eat the food that it's coming from love.